Feel you this morning, this morning. Just open your heart, open your mouth wide and let him fill you. Lift up your hands and open up your spirit. Tell him, let him fill you. Fill us this morning, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. We don't want to leave your presence the same, Lord. Let us leave satisfied. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Clap your hands and take your seat in the presence of God. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. The Bible said we Christians are ambassadors of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as ambassadors, we are called to represent God. Hallelujah. On the earth. The world has formulated a limited conception of who God is. Hallelujah. The world has a mindset and they have limited God. They have a limited conception of who God is but God has called you and I to be an ambassador of God on earth in other words he had called us to represent or represent or present God again on the earth hallelujah you get it God has called us to represent or present God again on earth the Bible said God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself and he has given us the same spirit of reconciliation. The spirit that was in Jesus that caused him to represent God on earth. When he was living, he gave us that same spirit and authority and power to represent God on earth. Hallelujah. That means that in every avenue of our life, we have to demonstrate the power and the glory and the riches of his kingdom through our lifestyle and through whatever we do. Hallelujah. And so in whatever avenue you find yourself, whether you're a businessman, a preacher, a singer, a dancer, a, a, whatever you do, your mandate is to represent God in that aspect. Hallelujah. Is to present God in his manifold glory in that aspect. Hallelujah. That is why you don't have to look down on yourself. You are a representative of God on earth. If the Bible said you are an ambassador, we know the duty of an ambassador. He represents his nation. We represent the kingdom of God on earth. That is why when Jesus was praying, he said, when ye pray, pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah to Jesus. The Lord God Almighty has in, in, in injected much, much power and authority delegated power and authority in the hands of everyone that is born again hallelujah to jesus and that is why he told the disciples i've given you the keys of the kingdom of god god has given you the keys he has given you the keys 
to unlock heavenly treasures hallelujah that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in the heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven what the lord is saying that whatsoever you permit on earth as a believer it shall be permitted in the heaven that means that nothing leaves heaven until something leaves the earth are you hearing me god i want you to change the perception you have about yourself the things that are happening in your life are happening because you permitted it hallelujah you permitted it to happen the bible said that whatsoever you permit another translation on earth is permitted in the heaven so you can stand in your room and see something that is going on in the community something that is going on in your country something that is going on in your family and you can stand in the family as an ambassador of the lord jesus christ and say father this thing is going on in my family but as an ambassador and as a representative of you god in this family i don't permit this thing to happen i declare in the name of jesus with my kingly anointing and with my ambassadorial unction i permit this not hallelujah to jesus you need to shift your mindset you need to change the perception you have about yourself when you understand these things ladies and gentlemen the way you pray will be different you begin to take charge and authority when there is something that is going on you don't like it is not a, a, a time to criticize it hallelujah it is time to change it on your knees i always say that fault finding is not a spiritual gift tell your neighbor fault finding it is not a spiritual gift <laughs> hallelujah whatever you see that is wrong god has given you the authority to change it the moment you are able to identify it that means the key is in your hand to change it not everybody has the grace to see what you see not everybody has the grace to be inspired the way you are inspired anything that ever came to your mind to do that means you have the power to do it hallelujah in the book of malachi the last chapter the bible talks about the spirit and the power of elijah the spirit and the power of elijah hallelujah he said in the last days in the last days i will send forth the spirit of elijah and the power of elijah and what that spirit will do is will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and will turn the heart of the children to the fathers lest i come to smite the earth with a curse before that spirit comes before the lord jesus christ comes one of the key things he would do is to turn the heart of the fathers to the children that means that broken relationship within families it is the hard desire of god to to solve those relationships before there will be a move of god in this church families must be in intact this is a serious word i will send for the spirit and the power of elijah before the coming of the messiah i will send for the spirit and the power of elijah to turn the heart of the fathers to the children restoration of relationship and the heart of the children to the fathers lest i come to smite the earth with a curse so before there will be a move of god in every church and in every country relationships must be restored families must be restored that is why the devil attacks families the way he's attacking families now now john the baptist was in the person who had the spirit of elijah how many of you know that now before jesus came john the baptist had to come six months ahead of jesus to prepare the way what was he to do to turn the heart of the children to their father what was the message of john the baptist repent repent simply means change your mind turn back unto god turn back repent for the kingdom of god is at hand it means it's within reach you can touch it repent turn to god he came to restore the heart of the children of god back to him before jesus could come so before the, the lord god almighty can bring revival in your life and in your church you need to watch your relationships hallelujah 
And I wonder why Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And all the disciples he chose were family members. John the Baptist was his cousin. Mark, Matthew, Peter, they were all related. They were all cousins of Jesus and brothers of Jesus. And I want, I, there's a revelation there. God is interested in family. Hallelujah. The first institution in the book of Genesis was family. Hallelujah. If you have a problem with your wife, your husband, your children, restore it. And this is what the Lord wants to do. To restore. There are three things the Lord wants to do this year. That I will speak about when God revealed it to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now before we will experience the move and the power of God. Please, you need to restore your relationship with your parents, your family. This is a prophecy I'm giving before there is the any rain came, there was a sound. Elijah said, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Before there will be rain, a sound must occur. John the Baptist was the sound, the voice crying in the wilderness. Before Jesus, the rain, the manner rain of heaven came. Before light came, God had to make a sound. Let there be light. And light appeared. I pray that the sound of heaven shall ring in this house. The Bible said, and there came a sound as a mighty rushing wind. And it entered into the room. Then the tongues of fire came. There must be a sound in this house. Hallelujah. Your worship could be a sound unto heaven. Your worship, your prayers, your club offering, your noise making, they are sounds that can release revival. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to Jesus. Say, Lord, let there be sound. <laughs> let there be sound. Another revelation here is the spirit of Elijah, whenever Elijah comes, he comes out of the wilderness and by the time he leaves, he leaves rain. Whenever Elijah appears, he always appears from the wilderness. But after he comes, he leaves rain. Hallelujah. John the Baptist came out of the wilderness. He was the son of a high priest. He could have lived in the palace and enjoyed the comforts of kinship. Hallelujah. And priesthood. But he decided to be in the wilderness. Then he began to make sounds. And after he made a sound, the rain of heaven came, who was Jesus Christ. Now, one thing that amazes me about Elijah was when Elijah was in the wilderness, when there was drought and famine, there was no rain. What bird fed Elijah? Who can tell me? Raven. You know why God allowed Raven to feed Elijah? It was a prophecy to this generation, to the generation of the Elijah's generation. Hallelujah. There was drought, there was famine, there was no rain. And God allowed Raven.